Hi Rubies, hope you're well today. Thank you for checking out today's video. So today's video originally was going to be a bit different. Um, I actually had a different video filmed and then I saw Taylor Swift was bringing out a new surprise album as a kind of sequel to Folklore and as I had done a review on Folklore I thought it was only kind of fitting I did a kind of first impressions type review thing um for the kind of the sequel one so i will just preface this by saying this is obviously first impressions i've listened to these songs uh between one to two times some of them i listened to once some of them i listened to do twice some of them uh, a couple more the ones that i really like so i have some notes here that i thought i would just share with you what i thought okay so i listened to them in the order that they were coming up on spotify um the album listing so the first one i listened to was willow and i've written i like the guitar um and i could see myself liking this one in the future but there were bits of it that i thought was a bit maybe samey i wasn't really sure and that was i've actually listened to two or three times and that one is actually in my top three i do really like that one so yeah willow is one i've added to my personal spotify playlist and I really liked it. So next up I have Champagne Problems. Um, I put the melody, um, this kind of sounds like a silly comment because obviously, but I put the melody is very Taylor Swift style. I mean, obviously because it's a Taylor Swift song, but she kind of does have a certain style and I thought that this sounded very like it. So I put it's okay, but already prefer Willow. Um, as this one reminds me too much of kind of others in terms of style I thought like I'd kind of heard it before um, but I did like the ending with the kind of the staccato strings uh, staccato staccato strings I thought that was kind of cool okay gold rush I put it was actually kind of unexpected what the song was um, from the intro I put I liked it so far um, and I thought it was interesting that it just ended so abruptly so that's another one I need to re-listen to because from memory, I I did quite like that one and I'd like to listen to it a few more times. So for the next one, Tis the Damn Season. I put It's Okay, but I, was, I wasn't too fussed about that one. Um, tolerate It. Um, also thought this one was okay. I put It was a nice blend of like the old familiar Taylor style with a new sort of style. And I've also put it's one I'd need to listen to a few more times to decide on. Coney Island, I wasn't really too fussed about. I didn't kind of think about it one way or the other. Ivy, I like that one so far. Cowboy Like Me, um, I really like this one as well. This is another one of my top ones. Um, there was something about the melody that just made me feel like confer com comforted. Comfort. Comforted. <laughs> Can't speak. I just was think about it. It was just, it was like, a, I, I don't know. It was like a little hug, just a melody. I, I liked it. Um, long story short, my first thought is that I'm unsure in terms of how the instrumental mixes with the vocals. To me, it kind of sounded a little bit conflicting in some ways. Um, and kind of as the song went on, I kind of got used to it a bit, but it did take some adjusting too. Um, it would probably like take a few more listens to have a more concrete opinion on that one. Um, and with that one, I liked the way the ending changed to, long story short, I survived. It changed it slightly to I survived. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, me, Marjorie, Marjorie, I think it is. Um, I was unsure about that one. I didn't really have any strong feelings about it. Sorry, I keep looking down. I've got my notes here. Um, closure. I thought the beginning was a bit bizarre. I wasn't really sure what to expect. Um, I did think it was interesting and kind of cool that she experimented to do something different, but I'm not sure if I really liked what had been done. Um, it kind of always sounded like it didn't fit, sort of, with the with the with the singing and the instrumental. The second time I listened to it as well, I kind of thought the same. I wasn't really all that sure about it. Um, 
But I did like the contrast between the idea of like closure and the disjointed, chaotic kind of way of the instrumental, even though I wasn't all that sure it fitted great. Um, I liked the contrast. Um, yeah, in terms, I've just put in terms of sound wasn't my favourite. And Evermore, that one, when I first heard it was called Evermore, the album, the first thing I thought was Evermore from Beauty and the Beast, the live film, that song, because I really like that song. And I put for Evermore, um, I wasn't, I, I liked it, but then it kind of, it did change quite a bit when the Bon Iver bit came in, and I wasn't expecting the change that it was going to do, and I wasn't sure what I thought of that, so... Um, I do know why she kind of collaborated with Bon Iver on this one again, because obviously um, she collaborated, was it was it Exile they did together? And I think that song was really popular. Again, it wasn't one of my favourite ones from Folklore, to be honest. Um, but yeah. So I also just did make some notes about the overall song, songs about wherever I put it. So things I noticed most about the whole album... Um, it was very kind of simple in terms of not overcrowding the instruments. There were quite uh, like few instruments. Um, there was quite a lot of harmonies and of course like a folky sound and it was either heavily guitar or piano based. So my final thoughts was my favourite favourite one was Nobody No Crime. My second favourite was Willow. Um, the third one was Cowboy Like Me and fourth one was Dorothea. Um, the rest so far I can kind of take or leave but I will keep listening to form more of an opinion because that's what I did with um, Folklore and I'll tell you the ones that ended up on my actual Spotify playlist so you can hear the ones that I decided on the end that were my favourites so I picked quite a few from Folklore in the end I picked the one Cardigan the Last Great American Dynasty, My Tears Ricochet, Mirable 7, August, Invisible String and Mad Woman. My favourite one is Invisible String. Um, I also really like The Last Great American Dynasty. I like The One and Mad Woman. They're probably my top, top ones I reckon that I've listened to the most. Um, so yeah, thank you for coming to listen to my first impressions thoughts of Evermore. Please tell me what you think of the album so far and let me know which are your favourite ones. Um, and have a lovely rest of your weekend and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye!